لما سنجى صلى الله عليه وسلم says يبتلى الرجل على حسب دين A person will be tried with hardship, with challenges, trials according to the level of his iman, according to the level of his faith and his deen. The people who receive the most or the hardest trials are the prophets. Then the ones nearby in iman, a person will be tried according to the level of their faith. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the prophets most and the righteous ones most. According to the level of your iman, of your taqwa, Allah loves you. So why does Allah send more trouble when he loves more? Because trial is good. Ultimately, there is so much wisdom and benefit in trials. But the thing is that most of us are short-sighted not to notice that. It's the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many times, Allah sends opportunities our way and when we see them, we consider them, we consider them to be trouble. We consider them to be problems. We consider them to be challenges that will wreck our life, that will destroy our life. But in reality, these are gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Consider the life of the Prophet ﷺ himself. In Mecca, 13 years, he's calling the people to Islam, saying to them, I am showing you the way, guiding you to the way leading to eternal happiness, to the pleasure of Allah, to paradise. Yet what was the response? He was challenged. He was persecuted. His companions were tortured, were killed in front of his eyes. He couldn't do it. What was the outcome? The best nation ever brought forth to mankind. History was written with actions of the companions of the Prophet ﷺ who went through these very trials. The Prophet ﷺ says, The best of humanity, the best of people ever are my generation. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to transform you, Allah wants to make you a better Muslim, you cannot ascend to a higher level of faith, of iman, of skill, of personal strength. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to you? If you settle for complacency and you feel relaxed, you don't want to get out of your comfort zone, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do to you? He sends trials your way. Why? To transform you. So that you become a better person. Indeed, with every hardship, there is peace. That's the peace. But when we are in the trial, what happens? Our intellect, our understanding contracts. We start to question the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But bear in mind, whenever a trouble comes your way, consider that to be a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you have been unable to grow up to a higher level and Allah has given you the opportunity now. But by the way, if you don't maintain this mentality or this outlook on trial, what will happen? The trial will turn out to be punishment and you will miss all the advantages of that. Who says that? The Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and listen to this beautiful statement. He says, Ana abdi bi abdi bi I am to my servant as he thinks about me. The Prophet one day came to this companion and the, the companion had fever. He was dehydrated. If he was in severe pain, the Prophet said, it's, it's a mercy from Allah. It's a trial. So be patient. The Prophet is trying to teach him the same wisdom. The man says, no, it's health. It's punishment. The Messenger then said, then it is. The way you see it, this is how you will react to it. And this is what you will 